What's up guys, Shade G from the Shade G on Saturday channel here and I'm going to show you how to change the plug out today. And as you guys can see, my game room is a wreck. This outlet does not work. It has not worked right for a long time, so I've had nothing plugged into it. So I've had everything, one six way daisy chain off another one plugged off of this plug. And had another one plugged into there. So I want to get this actually set right. Now this power is already turned off. Because if this is actually on... I'm going to let it sit there a second. I'm going to see what it looks like. As you can see, those lights are on. And I'm going to walk in, flip the breaker back off, so I get started. Hopefully, we got good enough light here. I'm going to try to keep it close as I can. So you guys hear, hear me. So hope you guys get the right lighting in here. I can get down here, so now as you can tell everything's ivory, but I'm changing them out for white. And you're probably wondering why I'm doing that is because this way I can tell which ones I've changed out. tools I need here, and a flathead screwdriver, and that's a little too big, but it might work, it'll, well, it'll work, so, and some of these plugs here in this house is, over, is actually over 40 years old, and this, hold for a moment, that's for my, one of my surround sound speakers, and as you can see there's a lot of dust on there. Right, so we're going from ivory to white. And actually, this is a bigger cover, too. I just realized that. That's all right. Yeah, let's, see, let's get this plug out of here. Let's see how they put in here. Hopefully, I don't change the box out. They got the wires. From what I can see, just from looking in the box right now. Move you guys over here for a second. I don't know if you guys can see that. Those things are shut in there. So this is going to get interesting real quick. So like I said, this may be a dumpster dive channel, but we're, we're doing more than dumpster diving here. We're going to do a little home improvement. Uh, i got some ideas for next year lined up already for uh, some projects. i got to get I gotta get another truck. So my truck right now, Fred, which is a 98 Silverado, he's down right now. Got a frame issue. Now I know I'll probably spend the money to get it fixed, but he's also got a shock problem. He got right now I got no brakes in the truck too, so which probably over the next next couple of days I need to start that truck up. So all right, we'll put that screw stuff down there. And before I put everything back, I'm gonna vacuum everything, clean everything up. Holy crap! We got what in God green. Earth. Wow. How many wires we got running in here? I'll tell you right now. One, two, three, four. My God, that's probably this thing in bull breaker. That'd be all right, hopefully. I'm glad I'm not doing this live. Right. I'm gonna try to do this without cutting the wire, so. All right, got that off. Now one thing I do is, I'll take one side off at a time, and then I'll wire it to my outlet. This way, already at the right side on the right side it's a, it's a simple little trick it's something I've done over the years uh, my dad taught me how to do electrical so this is where I learned how to do it and uh, certain electrical I'll, I'll mess with others I will not touch for jack now these ones in the back here I might have to cut them I think everyone one's got uh, okay Actually, let's 
tight. So, I actually cut them straight. Let me get this one out of here. And just a tip when you're buying plugs, I never buy the cheapest, cheapest plugs. I try to buy the some little step up or two. I'm just going to take this screw away because it's not going to go back together anyway. I like a screw stuck to it. So, that's these. And that is this set right here. This has got a back where you can shove it behind it. So I'm hoping you guys can see that. So that's what I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is cut this thing a little bit. Then I'm going to shove the wires in there. Vacuum cleaner, pick it up. Okay, so that part I put everything back, I'm vacuuming everything up, and I'm going to make sure you get everything cleaned. That I caught gun to watch, so. Just like saving you a little bit of time, pull out the big dog. This again looks like that, so it, it is this side. Now, here comes the front part. So I'm gonna push that down like that. One wire shoved in, the other wire shoved in. And you gotta make sure you get these things shoved all the way in, too. Now, the only reason why I'm using this, and I won't over. Just let you guys know, I actually am shaking a little bit. Uh, that's just because I am doing electrical. And I, that's always something I've always, me, I've always done. I've always shook a little bit. Um, my dad shook when he did electrical a little bit. And uh, I guess that's my way of uh, going, okay, no problem. I got this. I'll take these screws all the way out. So. Yeah, I uploaded my uh, Christmas lights video last night. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you haven't, uh, go to my page and uh, go take a look at it. And tell me what y'all think of them. Because I did post a video of me actually putting them up. And uh, glad I did because it's been freezing last, cold the last couple days here where I'm at. Along with... Uh, can I pull these out? That's a question. Kind of get a guard him up or anything. And I hope I can pull these out. I don't know if I can. A lot of times you get them pulled, those, those like that, you're not going to get pulled out. So, where in the big dog seconds? I'll just go clip these, re strip them. Only thing I got left is unhook the ground wire. That was easy. Oh, uh, to push to release. Oh. Oh well. Oh, you will be strippers out here. If you hear a dog in the background, that's my dog. That's Roscoe. Yeah. Will you calm down, dog? Jeez. <laughs> what? What, oh, dog? Come on now. I'm trying to make a video here. You're driving me nuts. And my daddy was here. That's a short trip. Uh, this one, I'm going to try to stick some underneath there like that. Uh, 
There we go. And the other two are going to shove in there. Clean it down. Get that first wire shoved in there. Get the second wire shoved in there. I will say that sometimes pushing the wires in there are kind of a pain. Unless they want to move on you. That's the other reason I'm going to use the impact drill to kind of get in there real quick, tighten down. And if you know, I'm going to take my screwdriver, kind of give it another twist or two, give it another slip, make sure that is tight. So if I'm blocking the camera, I apologize. So now all we got left is the ground wire, which is pretty simple. Oh, it being a pain on me today. There we go. There we go. All right, there we go. That's on there. Now, here's the second hard part. Right, this box is full. Now, eventually, I'm gonna redo this whole. I'm gonna redo this whole wall. Get rid of these. Damn, I ain't go ahead and. Completely the whole thing. Now, that's probably not the proper way of doing this. I'm just got to straighten it up in there. In there. I'm going to twist in there. The thing about these screws are if you do get a drill on them. Make sure you start my hand first because the drill will strip these out real fast. Up there, center. Ow. Hurt my thumb a little bit. That's alright. Like I said, it's easy peasy to change the electrical outlet up. Like I said, this will work a lot better. So no, I'm not going real fast because I want to make sure I'm slid over. There we go. And that's it. Let's check see if it works. I'll plug it all over one here. Survey sales. I do believe we could break her. Shoot. Well, let's see what happened. Yes, that does happen from time to time. What's up, Tony? Hey. You got too many I'll see ya. I'm right here on the ground. Oh, there you are. I'm sorry. Hi to see ya, sorry. In the chair? Hi to see ya. <laughs> You're okay. That's right, I understand. That's all right. Yeah, we're going to new outlet. That's right. We talked about right, that. Right that's right. Tasty. Right oh, that's what you were talking about, new outlet. Yeah. I'm sorry, you're recording too. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's all right. All right, works now. Yeah, it's a push it all in there and trip the breaker, so. Ooh. It happens. Hold it. Bye. It's very good. Yeah. 
another quick tip, always keep electrical tape around because more than likely probably one of the sides touched and just to be on the safe side and it only takes a minute tape it up very good idea and you guys can hear it's the humble bumble himself background so we're gonna have a uh, leaf and a uh, chip Okay. And that's my sister in the background. I'm Bubbles looking forward to a great Christmas. Lots of snow. <laughs> well, let's try this again. That's my wife in the background. You also hear her too. So let's try this again. Let's see if we can get this screwed in there. Hi. Oh, yeah. I don't mind. Yes, I'm recording. <laughs> no big deal. Let's see if I trip the breaker again. Well, that's going to take a while to protect it. Okay. 40 year old house. Metal box for electrical. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't have a good flight signal down today. So. Let's do a trip now. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Here we go. <laughs> Light show. Sparks flying. Okay, so what an outlet. That might be a dead plug. And you might just have to leave it a dead plug. Okay. I have an issue with that outlet too. I hate the outlet. There's like three or four wires in there. So I'm just going to pause this and. Uh, oh, oh. <clears throat> Oops, sorry about that. Trying to get this thing tight. Uh, what's up, guys? This is part two of the little electrical problem I had. And uh, it was a little bigger problem than I thought. Um, so I ended up had to come into here I don't know how well you'll see this but let me go over here nope get to it but the old wiring when I went down into the original box actually was not tied right so it was actually arcing against the metal so to fix that problem I actually took the two wires which is the two white wires here ran down to a new box so there's only two lines down running the box because I ran a new wire from that box there to the back here to the new box so as you guys can see barely and then I spent the rest of the day trying to figure out how I'm going to lay this all out and uh, originally my Xbox One was sitting there which is now sitting up here and as you, if you guys can see this I don't know if you guys can or not I don't think you can, because I don't have a light on the thing. So, let's make the floor enough for you guys to see it. Retail display unit only. So, I just put the PS4 back where originally I originally had it on my Xbox, my original Xbox and my Xbox 360. But my PS2, instead of being there, is now here in the center. And, uh, of course, this shelf was still there. I moved everything down, which now you can see the center base. The center... Um, oh, good lord. The center speaker there. And you can see this speaker now. It's up there on top. And this shelf was actually from was actually like this, which turned this way. And this is a, a partial shelf I had built for something else. And uh, originally, I built this originally for a DVD shelf that I had to set up on another shelf. And now, it was, for years, it was actually got used for something else. Uh, I'll go ahead and tell you, it was storing toilet paper on it. So now I'm actually using for it. So now that my all my ex, original Xbox games, my, my Xbox One, and all my 360 games are here, 
which I got to get organized sitting next to my John Wayne DVDs. And uh, it's still a mess, still got a lot to work on, but I actually got the opportunity to bring all my PS2 games over here. I still got to organize them, which are now next to the PS4 games, and all my Japanese anime are up there. Uh, the rest is still the same. So, like I said, whoa, flip flop. It was, it, was, it was a hectic day trying to get all this done. I had some other things I had to do today, so that's why I didn't make a video on it. I still have a lot of work to do because, after all, I got this massive shelf sitting right here that's going to go back in the office, which I now I got to clean the spot up for it. So, and it is very late at night. I need to get to bed. It's after midnight. So, thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. And just want, just want to say thank you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. Uh, if you know anybody likes these videos, uh, send them my way, and uh, yeah, do whatever you want. And I appreciate all your support. My Patreon will be in the description below, and I will be making more videos like this. Um, I want to personally apologize for procrastinating on some a lot of videos. Um, I've been wanting to make a lot of videos, but I kind of procrastinated on them, uh, and I've had some other things come up, so I will start making a lot more videos, and if you like the little DIY video I did, uh, let me know, and I will do another one, and uh, when I, next time I build a shelf, I'll do that, but I'm working on getting some better cameras, and working on my lighting and stuff, so like I said, this one don't have no light on it, so just even put it... Like I said, over here, if I stand here, you got no light, and now I got to move to where you got light, so. So, thank you guys once again. Subscribe, like, do whatever you want. And, uh, I appreciate all your support and your great comments, and, uh, thumbs up. Now, where is that stupid button at? I'll find it one of these.